fun to unbox it with you and talk a little bit about um, how I sort of started becoming a creator in case that's something that's of interest to anyone who's watching. I know I talk a lot about how I found my job in marketing, but I don't talk a lot about what I do as a creator in Korea, so I thought I'd spend some time doing that. Also, this is a pretty, um, what's the word I want? This is pretty like low vibes in terms of filming because if you didn't notice the bruise on my face and the swelling, um, I didn't get punched in the face. I kind of did. Um, I got my wisdom teeth out a few days ago. So I'm just kind of keeping it chill as I recover because if you didn't know this about Korea, uh, they don't put you under, they don't give you laughing gas. It's just like a cavity. They just give you local anesthesia. So, um, yeah, I didn't pass out this time though, but I'm not good with this kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm getting besides myself. Let's jump into the video. Actually rewind. Before we jump into the video, I just want to give a big shout out to Fama at Aga Skin. I know lots of people follow me because they're interested in careers in Korea, but I also have to tell you that if you're interested in entrepreneurship and in K-beauty and in skincare and working in that field in Korea, I really recommend that you follow Fama. She is a foreign entrepreneur here in Korea. She is incredible. She works so hard. She puts together like the best events, super knowledgeable about the skincare industry and really helping to globalize a lot of Korean brands. So I think she's an incredible, incredible woman um, to follow in the industry. And I think if you're interested in any of those things, you should definitely follow her as well. The reason why I also bring Fama up is because a lot of this was from an event that I attended that she and her team put on. So I'll walk you through that, but yeah. Most of this is skincare. If you didn't put that together, most of this is skincare. I clearly have not planned this video because I have been on painkillers. I literally don't know how to pronounce this brand, but I'm sure all of you will recognize it. Ramand, I think is how you pronounce it. You guys are so far away. What is this? Better than palette in light glitter garden. So it's just a little palette there of a bunch of colors. This is nice because it's a mix of cool tones and warm tones. Korean brands really go ham on the glitter. I don't know if the camera, here, let me get my face out of the way. You really, yeah. Can it catch the light? I picked something too close to my skin tone, but the glitter is crazy. And a little mini lip gloss as well. It's not gonna focus on the, this could be a long unbox, unboxing, unboxing. Clearly the painkillers are still, still in the system. It's just like a little lip gloss. This reminds me of like the MAC lip gloss that was really popular when I was younger. I don't know this brand actually at all. It's called Life on Earth. So let's pop it open. Oh, it's fragrances. I didn't want to rip it. So I'm gonna be posting some of this stuff on my skincare Instagram later. Ooh, nice little the white shirts fragrance. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm. So let's like pause and talk a little bit about how I ended up becoming a creator in the first place. I would be lying to you if I didn't say that I wanted to be a YouTuber since I was like 14 years old. Who didn't, right? Everybody, doesn't everybody dream of being a YouTuber? I think nowadays Gen Z does, they do all want to be creators, but um, yeah, I always wanted to be a YouTuber and I just never thought my life was interesting. I never thought that people would want to like see me daily vlog. Like all the creators that I watched were doing such cool things, were traveling the world, were like, I don't know, basically celebrities. And I was like, I'm a normal person, no one wants to watch me. But when I moved to Korea, I was like, wait a second, I am doing something really cool. And I want to share that with people and with my family. And so I started making YouTube vlogs kind of as a way to stay in touch with my family and share my life in Korea, especially during COVID. I also knew like, hey, like if I can make this into a thing, that would be making a little girl inside me, making her dreams come true. Um, so I also applied a lot of my marketing knowledge into creating content that would help people who 
were in my position and wanted to come and move to Korea because I remember how challenging it was at that point in time was a good opportunity for me to talk a lot about like the specifics of like visas and being a teacher versus working in an office and because I've done all of those things I also decided to make content about that so that's how I, kind of how I started my content creation journey and the first year was you one thing I, I was not great at making videos I'm still not great at making videos. The content wasn't fantastic, but it was consistent. So if you were here for that era of the first year, you know that I was putting up videos like every single week and I was experimenting with like different video shooting styles. So it was actually really enjoyable for me as well to have something for myself outside of teaching and also to keep me busy when we would go through periods of lockdown. So that's kind of how I started on YouTube. And yeah, and then eventually it turned into this and that I believe I owe a lot to TikTok, which I'll talk about after I open a few more things. This is not skincare at all, but I'll show it to you anyways. This is actually a portable SSD, which is great as a creator because it's where I can store all of my videos so they don't slow down my MacBook. So it's called the Beetle X31. I never remember the number, but look at it. Isn't it super little tiny cute? It's basically external memory is all it is. So I can just plug it into my laptop, which I don't have near me right now. And I store all of my photos and videos from my vlogs and the trips that I go on. I'm going on a ton of trips, spoiler alert, a ton of trips in September and October. I'm going to Singapore. I'm going to Tokyo, Osaka. I'm going to the Japanese Grand Prix in Nagoya, which I am hyped for. This is where all of that's going to live. Let's keep going. I know it's in this bag because I actually have it already yeah so this is from the team at mixin they are great they are so nice i actually met the ceo at this event this is also from fama's event this summer paradise she called it um it's really cool they use a lot of ingredients that i don't really see in other skincare so they actually use uh, fermented bean in a lot of their stuff and this cleansing oil is super super popular and i don't know if they gave it to us or not but there's also a bean serum fermented bean I have no idea if that's in focus or not. That's why I'm not a beauty vlogger. Um, this is crazy popular and it has like a million and one benefits. Like, you know how Centella, for example, we know is really good at soothing. Um, this bean ferment that they use is really great for, for soothing and for skin elasticity and I think for redness and something else like she was, the girl that was walking me through the booth was telling me so many incredible things about this skincare. Okay. This is from Melixer who made this sunscreen focus. I still don't think that's in focus. Who made this sunscreen that I'm obsessed with. It smells like kale. It smells like an Erewhon green smoothie. It's the texture is so nice. Loose my skin, super dewy and glowy. So I love this sunscreen, but then I found out from the brand that they were changing the packaging. And I just think this packaging is so cute. They're changing it to like a regular sunscreen too. So I actually called the brand and I asked them if I could buy uh, this packaging before they stopped selling it. So they helped me coordinate with their warehouse team. So I bought four of the cute packages. Um, and this one is from another brand that I've talked about before that I love, which is called The Green, um, who sent me to throwing things, who sent me um, one of their newest releases and a product that they think would work really well with it. So this is a vitamin C ampoule. So she also sent me this uh, Sika serum. We know how much I love Centella. I talk about Centella all the time, so I'm really excited to try these two together. Back to how I ended up becoming a creator. I was spending a lot of time making YouTube videos, but YouTube videos are very labor intensive. Like it's, I, sh I sit down and I shoot and I film and my editing is not even incredible. My editing is very low bar, but it still takes me a long time to do. Um, you know, one video start to finish is a lot of hours. So I also started like messing around on TikTok because I thought I'm getting glitter literally everywhere. Um, I started playing around on TikTok because at the time it was the pandemic. So um, the school would close down for like one or two weeks at a time and I'd be really bored in my apartment alone. So I started doing lots of like transition videos on TikTok and I really fell in love with the platform. And then when I ended up leaving my teaching job to go uh, start a job in PR, I posted one video about it. And it's so funny at the time because I remember being terrified 
because I had not told the school I was leaving yet. And this video got like 30,000 views or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, one of the parents is gonna see it. Someone is gonna know, like, I'm, I'm gonna be fired. Like, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. I'm gonna get deported. Like, I didn't know what was gonna happen because I hadn't told the school yet. And now in retrospect, I think it's really funny, A, that I thought that any kindergarten parents were on TikTok. At this point in time, TikTok was not big in Korea. TikTok is still not massive here. Um, but yeah, there's no way those parents are on TikTok. And also now that I've had further success on TikTok, I understand that like 30,000 was really not that big. But at that point in time, I was like, holy shit, I went viral. I didn't. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is what sort of kickstarted my whole TikTok era, if we want to call it that. And then, yeah, I just started making videos in a similar content style to what I was doing on YouTube, on TikTok, so answering lots of questions. And then I really discovered an even broader community um, of people who were really interested in moving to Korea in uh, and getting a office job and then also learning Korean. A lot of my content was about how I suck at learning Korean, which apparently resonated with a lot of people. I would say about 80% of what I have been sent was based on my TikTok presence. And I can say this confidently because I will get emails from brands and they will say, hey, I saw your YouTube or hey, I saw your TikTok. So I do have about 40,000 followers on TikTok, which is why I have a lot of this stuff. But at the same time, about 20% of the PR that I receive is from people reaching out about my YouTube, which has under 5,000 followers. So if this is something that you want for yourself, if you wanna become a creator, if you wanna make content about skincare and get PR like this, you really don't have to have massive numbers. I would also like to point out that I, this is not outreach. I don't reach out to brands. This is all inbound. So I wouldn't like, I wouldn't sell yourself short. If you only have a couple thousand followers, that is more than enough to start building a network to receive PR and to get to cover products like this if you're interested in that. After I opened these last few products, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about why I think becoming a creator helped me professionally as well. Big shout out to the team at Face Republic. This was probably my favorite booth that I went to at the event because they were so, um, first of all, beautiful. Second of all, they took, if you watched last week's video, they took that really cute Polaroid of me. So thank you to them. When we left, we didn't just receive any product. They actually gave us the line that was best suited to our skin. So they gave me their basically like hydrating and sensitive skin lines. So in this blue line, because I learned all about it, it's really focused on HA, hyaluronic acids, um, to help hydrate skin and boost it. Great for well aging as well. Let's see what I got from One Day's You, I think is who this is. This is another brand that was totally new to me, which is also interesting because um, a girl that works at Purito has a friend who works here as well. So I was like, oh, but they, I think they're most popular for their toner pads because they had six or seven different toner pads on display. This is um, their Please Calm, Calm My Skin, which is hyaluronic acid and skin soothing ingredients. And this is from the booth. I think there is more in the mega package, which I'm gonna unbox last for you. So before I move on to this beauty, although I'll give you a sneak peek, the mega load from the event. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about why I think content creation really helped me to get the job that I got. I will not lie to you, in my cover letter, I shamelessly bragged about the fact that I had grown on my platform on TikTok from zero to 60,000 in under a year. 60,000, I lied, 40,000 in under a year. Why did I say 60? That was like a main point on my resume. And when I was interviewing to leave the PR agency to go somewhere else, um, it was the number one thing that got me in the room, for sure. Everybody asked me about it when I was interviewing. Can you tell me more about TikTok? Can you tell me about, you know, how you like help promote Korea abroad? Because 99% of the communities, the communities, companies, wow, the painkillers are really just a little loopy. 90% of the companies that want to explicitly hire foreigners want to do so to help promote them internationally. So that is all I do on my platform is I talk about life in Korea, I talk about Korean products, 
So that was something that instantly got me into the room every conversation. And I don't think it was even necessarily that I grew, grew the platform so quickly, but more that I was actively doing this as a hobby, as a part of my free time, that I enjoy promoting Korea abroad. So I think if you are interested in working in marketing and communications in an office and working for a Korean brand that is trying to grow internationally, the number one thing that you can do is start to create content. And it doesn't necessarily have to have your face in it like mine does. I know a lot of people are kind of insecure about, insecure is not the right word, maybe anxious or worried about creating content with their face in it because the internet is forever. So I understand if you don't want to put your face in it, you absolutely don't have to, but like daily vlogs or like skincare content or I don't know, food content, just share restaurants that you go to, like any kind of content that you can create. Um, that promotes Korea internationally is an incredible portfolio. And that is basically what happened. My social presence became my portfolio for a lot of brands that were looking for someone who could help promote them globally. So I think that was a huge, huge asset when I was applying for these types of positions. Let's get into the last box, which is the big, big prize. There's lots of information packets in here, which I will not bore you with, but I will read because I'm very interested in learning more about a lot of these brands. What more um, one day, one day's you pad. So this is their Vita C pad. So it has propolis extract. We've got more. It's a lot of pads, toner pads in this box. So we also got a vitamin niacinamide concentrate pad from Numbazin. It's their number five. Um, they patented technology on this pad. It's square and one side is like texturized to help with exfoliation and the other side is this really cool like jelly texture to it. We've got some I'm From products. So this is a licorice calming cream. Another brand I don't know, it's called Camel. This is a glow mist. Actually, I want to open this one. So this is like a glowy serum mist. You can see it's kind of like the Dalba one. It's separated, so I think you just give it a shake. A glowy, the oil mixes with the rest of the product. So we've got some products from Skin, Skin Chonsa is what I'm used to saying. Skin 1004, very popular Madagascar Centella line, light clinic oil, and a probiotic cleanser. I love their packaging. I think it's super pretty. Also their sun serum. I also am a huge fan of this sunscreen. Shout out to the things that I put in this box, which are from Purito. So literally put my favorite things in this box. That is why it's great to be the head of marketing. So I put the, not because I was going to get it. It's just because these are my favorite things. So I think that other people would really like them. But anyways, Deep Sea Pure Water Cream, huge fan of this. I have like six of them in my apartment right now. And then our other best sellers, which are our Centella Unscented Serum and B5 Panthenol um, Cream. Great for skin barrier repair. And then the last thing that I had them throw in the box was our Deep Sea Droplet Serum, which is our new launch uh, for summer. We took a bunch of creators to Yang Yang on an influencer trip, which was crazy, so much fun. Like all your favorite creators, like Rachel, and Natalie and who else? Erna and all their friends. Anyways, that was fun. So that's what I put in the box. So more from One Day's You. It looks like they gave their whole brightening line. Again, it's summertime, so vitamin C products are really popular to promote. So they gave us a serum and another mist. More from One Day's You. This is their best-selling product. They sold something like 3.5 million, and it is their blackhead clearing. The numbers and team also sent a vitamin concentrate serum, brightening antioxidant. So I'm also guessing this is a vitamin C serum. Another vitamin C serum, I think. Um, I think so. This is from Claire's, dear Claire's, freshly juiced vitamin charging serum. So I think that's another vitamin C skin evening product. And then I got another sunscreen in a fancy little whole box here. Let me just get the sticker off. Primave, I feel like it's how you pronounce this. And they got us a little, is it a sun stick? It's not a sun stick. The girl just wants to try a sun stick, okay? And then the last thing that we got, was another perfume from a brand called Momen. Momen Song. Yeah, cute. Little hand cream, it smells like bergamot, wood, musk in the rain. And it has hyaluronic acid, panthenol, which is vitamin B5. 
um, and a few other ingredients that I'm not familiar with. So it should be super hydrating and nice. I think that's gonna be everything for today. If you do want, I can't remember if I said this or not. Remember, I am on painkillers, okay? So this video is probably gonna be very strange when I edit it. But um, if you have any more questions about what it's like to be a creator as well, I know I talk a lot about um, my professional life in marketing, but that is one side of the creator economy as I work in influencer management and marketing, but I'm also on the other side of the creator community as a creator, which obviously you know because you're watching this. So if you're interested in becoming a creator in Korea as well, I'm happy to talk more about that and what that kind of looks like. If you're interested, drop me a note below. Um, and if you made it this far, what should I ask you to do? I was shocked, by the way, when I asked you guys to drop a favorite fruit. I didn't realize that you guys were watching this all the way through because when I go and look at the analytics, it tells like, it tells me that, oh, I posted a 20 minute video and like the average watch time was two minutes. I had no idea that some of you were sitting down and watching the whole thing. So I would like to formally apologize to anyone who has sat through like one of my 18 minute videos. Um, but anyways, if you made it this far, why don't you drop your favorite animal in the comments? Um, yes, let's see who made it through this video. Very different vibe than the last one. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go dose with more medication and probably have a nap and ice my cheek. So, see you next time. Bye.